It's the boys from Liquor Store 352 here with another Liquor Store 352 review. Up to bat today we have from Victory, the Berry Monkey. The two other products that we carry in our store from Victory are the Sour Monkey and the Golden Monkey. Both clocking in at over 9%. This also following suit, 9.5%. There it is. Where is it? I'm a danger. I'm not showing it to you. I don't know if we can chug this one. I mean... Nine and a half percent? I feel like the people want it. Yeah, of course they want to see us suffer and chug a <laughs> nine and a half percent sour fruited beer that's going to make us immediately regret it, but I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, there's a lot of things I regret. This is based on a Belgian style triple ale. It's a high gravity, yet very light and quenching beer. Mm. We'll see what color this is. Maybe the fruit shows up and it's not pale, but generally a Belgian triple is like very pale, a okay, closer yeah. color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, a lot of people debate how to pour a beer. They see their bartender at the bar tipping the glass very gently. Yeah, not the way to do it. Exactly. Out of my fucking elbow. Sorry. We're not going to be afraid of foam. Foam is good. It produces aroma. It makes your beer pretty in the glass. We like foam. I get that foam. At 9.5%, that foam is going to dissipate real fast. And if the fruit has, leaves any residual sugar in this, oh, wow. that's also going to cause that head to dissipate. Look at the color, too. Oh, I smell it right away. Mm -hmm. Do it again. And then now we've got a little head. We've got a little head formed. We might be less aggressive on the rest of the pour. Mm. Mm. But don't be afraid to take some time to pour your beer. It doesn't have to happen in 10 seconds. And then we're just going to work it all the way up to the top. Normally, a Belgian-style triple ale is very effervescent, and it's going to produce a lot of carbonation in the head. You need to take your time. Holy vocabulary. Oh, yeah. And there it is. We always whiff. Before we commit. It's suggesting a lot of sweetness when you smell it. It's not shy. Mm -hmm. In your face, fruit. I'm not getting a lot of the classic Belgian triple smells. It doesn't have clove. There might be a little bit of banana in the background. There's a little bit of touch of some, like, there's just this nice, like, dark and robust kind of aroma coming from it as well. I'll leave you with a little tip here. You only get to smell your beer once. And by that I mean once you taste it, you don't get to go back and untaste it. Yeah, so really. really savor the flavor, so to speak, when you smell your beer. Another little tip. Well, if you hold your mouth ajar, it looks stupid, but you smell better. <laughs> you not wrong, you not wrong. Benjin Chia! Lots of... Shockingly drinkable for nine and a half percent. Like, oh, yeah. holy shit. It's, it's so, it's, it's light, it's nice. It, it's got this nice tang going around the tongue. It's beautiful. I love this thing already. And I've, I've never had anything from Victory. I've never had the Sour Monkey, the Golden Monkey, the Berry Monkey. But now, I want all the products. Let's talk about Victory for a second. Victory. One of my favorite breweries of all time. One of the older American craft beer breweries, at least in like, this latest generation of American craft breweries. Mm -hmm. They make one of the best domestically brewed pilsners you can buy in stores. Victory Prima Pilsner is world-class world beer. Victory Donnybrook Stout, often available on Nitro on draft. Mm -hmm. One of the best domestic brewed Irish, forget domestic brewed, one of the best dry Irish stouts you can get. They just happen to make an amazing Belgian style triple. Mm -hmm. You know, they do all sorts of beer amazing, but they are so famous for this triple, it makes up the vast majority of their sales that they've really mm -hmm. just continued to expand on it. You've got the berry monkey, you've got the sour monkey, the golden monkey. There's another monkey, twisted monkey, I think is one with twisted. mango. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's all sorts of monkeys out there. And let's be real, one of the biggest things we got these is because it is a high ABV, and everybody's looking for the good times. And you just want, you want to get there quick. You want to get there quick. You don't want to go overboard. Unless you do, no problem with that, but you want to get to where you want to get as quick as you can. Come on. So at first I thought this was going to be just a triple in name and that the sourness was going to totally dominate any of that like classic Belgian triple component, but it really shines through. It's not overly sour. And even if you're not the biggest fan of sour beers, you may still very much enjoy this. Mm -hmm. What fruit is that? 
Raspberries that add just the right balance of sweetness and tangy with a smooth finish. It's undeniably very good. I think this is where Victory deserves a little bit of extra credit for this beer because not only do they avoid overly loading it with fruit and making it just like this smoothie, fruity concoction, it looks like a triple. Mm -hmm. It's not bright red and thick. It also drinks like a triple. You know, the raspberries in the background is complementing those other primary beer flavors. Yeah. Cheers to the monkey drinkers of the, the world. To the monkey drinkers. Anyway, with that said, we've hyped victory enough. We've hyped this beer enough. It's time to get into the scores. For me personally, my biased experience is that this is way over delivering. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Especially for the price point. This is twelve ninety nine. Um, six pack. For a six pack mm -hmm. of twelve ounce cans, and with the state of beer pricing now, people don't bat an eye at twenty dollar four packs. I score for this as a 7.3. It's really good. I enjoy it a lot. I feel like through these scores, you should get to know us better. And the products that we have been reviewing are not products that I'm going to necessarily take my own hard-earned dollars and buy to enjoy on my own free time. Because this is a product that I think that I would have no problem going out on my own time and spending my own money on for my own enjoyment, um, I'm going to give this beer a well-deserved 8.5. You guys want to see us do it? We now want to do it. This is 9.5%. It's going to be a great friggin' night. One sip. That's it. It's sitting funny in my belly. Yeah, sitting a little funny. I think I think you just got to like gyrate a little bit. <clears throat> Work it down. Okay, well, folks, as always, we really appreciate you joining us. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Let us know what you think. Leave us your thoughts in the comments and tell us what products you would like us to review next. Mm -hmm. And if you're feeling generous, give us some fucking money. <laughs> As always, keep it wet.